Of course, a new phone. Not sure how you went 24 hours with that one. That's a clip from You, a hit show on Netflix. It's about a stalker who steals his victim's phone to gain access to her whole life. And it's not just happening on TV shows. There are hundreds of apps that can give stalkers the ability to track their victims. It's even been called stalkerware. So how does it work? Well, it's pretty simple. All you need is the app and a way to get into your victim's phone. The apps are often sold to follow your friends or your children, but get this, American researchers looked into it. They contacted nine companies with tracking services claiming to be women who wanted to track their husbands. Only one of the companies refused to help. Once these apps are installed, abusers gain access to their victim's location, communications, including texts, photos, basically everything you need to harass or blackmail someone. One high-profile case involved a Canadian woman. Her fiancé installed stalkerware on her phone and discovered she was planning to flee their abusive relationship. He threw her off the 15th floor balcony and was convicted of murder. So it's cases like that that compelled my next guest to do something. Eva Galperin is a digital activist with a huge Twitter following, and last year she tweeted this. If you're a woman who has been sexually abused by a hacker who threatened to compromise your devices, contact me and I will make sure they are properly examined. Hundreds of potential victims responded. And now, Eva Galperin has a plan to stop stalkerware, and she joins me from San Francisco. So, Eva, I mean, it sounds like a, a horror movie, but it's real. Like, how scary is this? Well, a lot of the people who have reached out to me uh, were definitely very scared because a lot of the time uh, the compromise of their devices or their accounts is happening at the same time uh, as harassment or domestic abuse, and it's really difficult for them to figure out sort of what the contours of the surveillance are and exactly what's gone wrong and what their abuser is capable of. How big an issue is stalkerware, do you think? Um, well, we've seen some really interesting leaks of uh, data from stalkerware companies because in addition to being, you know, sort of sketchy and unethical, uh, they're not very secure. And uh, so often this data ends up online, it ends up leaked. And we see thousands and thousands of installations. So it's extremely prevalent. The kind of abuser that has full access to your device usually doesn't turn around and threaten you with hacking your device. They don't want to make you suspicious so that they can continue to have full access. Is there, I realize this is really private for people, but is there an example that you can give me that you've heard about? Well, um, I talked to a woman who contacted me uh, through a, a mutual acquaintance of ours who was being um, who was being watched, and she was fairly certain that this person had full control over her phone because they understood you know where she was going and what she was doing and what all her messages were, uh, and it actually turned out to be a friend of hers, uh, and we were able to sort of deduce uh, who the who the culprit was um, by how hard he was uh, he was trying to sort of throw her off of the scent and then once she was able to figure out who it was it was a lot easier to sort of cut him out of her life one of the the, the most shocking things to me was that it's been found that, that some of the companies selling these apps uh, seem to be aware that they're not always used just to follow a friend or you know to keep an eye on your kids that it's not always used for benign purposes Oh yeah, there's absolutely no question that these apps are being advertised as, you know, non-consensually spy on your, you know, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, coworker, person you think is cheating with uh, absolutely no consideration as to whether or not uh, this kind of spying is legal. So what do you want done? Can this be fixed? Uh, there's a lot of Android um, spouseware and stalkerware out there. And one of the things that I would really like to see antivirus companies start to do is start recognizing these programs as malicious. Because right now, a lot of the time, if you download an AV product onto your phone, you could have one of these, uh, one of these programs on your phone, and it won't recognize it as a problem. And it's not that the antivirus companies don't know that these things exist, it's that they, they think that because they have some legitimate uses that they shouldn't be marked as malicious. This is going to make people very careful about where they leave their phones. <laughs>
certainly I would not leave one's phone uh, in you know, the physical presence of somebody that you don't trust. Eva, it's been great to talk to you. Thank you so much for, uh, for telling us about this. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Eva Galperin in San Francisco. We've got more to come on The Weekly.